humans are an important factor of the past, present, and will always remain to be an important factor of the future. How has the mandate of the Dubai Future Foundation evolved over the years? First of all, thank you for having me. And um, the Dubai Future Foundation's mandate, I think, in a nutshell, simply reflects how uh, uh, the leadership and the people of Dubai and the UAE think. If we go way back to the founding days of this nation, you will realize that the founding fathers have made courageous bets back then that were extremely ambitious, but have reflected major rewards and benefits for uh, the people uh, of Dubai and the UAE. And this mindset, which obviously uh, requires a lot of risk taking, so that kind of mindset of taking big risks for the benefit of humanity, is uh, the vision that has been reflected in the Dubai Future Foundation to continue that kind of thinking, which is risky but has major rewards as long as you mitigate that risk and create from Dubai um, as a home for innovators and thinkers and people that are ambitious to create new uh, ideas and generate a better future for everyone. So the Dubai Future Foundation's main vision is to really institutionalize future foresight and create a plan for it and come up with ideas that really uh, can uh, create a better future for humanity, starting here from Dubai. Tell us about how technological disruption witnessed during 2020 will redefine the economies of the Arab world. So as we've seen in the past few years, and I think in a way we maybe have learned the hard way through the, the, the challenging two years that the world has had through the pandemic, we've noticed the value of technology and we've noticed the speed of disruption and growth of the digital economy. So maybe we've learned it the hard way through the uh, pandemic, but at the same time we've realized that it's inevitable that the advancement of technology will play a massive role in the future. It's inevitable that we need to adapt to it. It's inevitable that um, artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning and robotics and autonomous mobility and drones will really play a key role. But what's also inevitable is that humanity is an empirical uh, factor out of all this. Humans are an important uh, factor of the past, present, and will always remain to be an important factor of the uh, future. And we need to always uh, adapt to those technologies. And it's all about how you create the uh, right environment and the right regulations and the policies for those uh, technologies to really grow and for you to also demit, to mitigate the risks that can, can, can come out of them. And I think the Dubai Future Foundation also plays a key role through different projects to ensure that we embrace new ideas, we create an, a testing environments for them across all sectors, and then the successful ones, we create policies and plans and programs for them to grow. How are you building an organization that's future prepared? So I think the way we're building a future prepared organization is to remain agile and to uh, be open for new ideas and to have a very extensive and robust uh, research and foresight arm that keeps us on our toes constantly on what's happening next in the future. And when I talk about the future, I talk about the near future, but also the far future, which carries even more variables and more risks. But in order to be ready, you would need to go far and try to understand what are the things that can potentially affect us and what are the risks that we're going to face in economies and climate change and, and different challenges that can happen around the world. And we need to be ready for them now. So uh, one key role of our uh, uh, entity, the Dubai Future Foundation, is to remain agile and to remain, to remain constantly working on our research and foresight. And then basically looking at what happens with this um, reporting that we work on and what can we really do with it. How will the Museum of the Future bolster the creative economy in the UAE and beyond? So the Museum of the Future is the start of our journey. There was a much smaller version of this, muse this beautiful museum that you see on Sheikh Zayed Road at the moment. There was a much smaller version of it in the World Government Summit, which is an annual gathering that happens in, in, in Dubai every year. And that small uh, convening, uh, as in that small museum, was the reason where His Highness Sheikh Mohammed uh, realized the importance of the Future Foresight Dialogue and planted the seed of institutionalizing that thinking. So that's, uh, the relevancy of the museum is it's the start of our journey, but at the same time, it uh, starts the imagination angle in the visitors of the museum to ensure that we take them through an immersive, far, far future where they can dare to dream about 
uh, great ideas that they can contribute to a better future for everyone, where they go through a journey of uh, several topics that talk about what opportunities and what challenges uh, lie ahead uh, in terms of the future and what can we do about them. So I think the uh, museum is an immersive journey that um, uh, creates imagination, but more importantly, this museum will be the headquarters of future foresight for the world starting here from Dubai.